So the DC bombshells are everywhere right now, and for good reason. They're fantastic. We'll be looking into the story behind the bombshells on today's episode of This Day in Cosplay History. Check. Featuring your favorite heroines in a fantastic new storyline? Check. DC Bombshells is checking off a lot of things on fans' lists right now, so it's no surprise that we're seeing them oh, on comic book shelves, on so much merchandise, and in a lot of cosplay at conventions and on the internet. I was surprised to discover that it all started with a line of collectible statues. Released and available around this time in October of 2013, this line was inspired by pinup prints by the incredible artist Aunt Lucia. Now, Jim Fletcher of DC Collectibles said that they've been kicking around the idea, the idea of doing something retro, 40s, pinup art inspired um, since before DC had moved their headquarters to Burbank. But Art Lucia's pinup work really got their gears turning and they later turned to Udon Studios and sculptor Tim Miller to fully realize the concept and the statues. Wonder Woman was the first statue released, followed shortly by Supergirl, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. The statues continued to trickle out, and in June of 2014, various DC monthly comic titles got lovely variant covers featuring, you guessed it, the bombshells. This led us to August 2015, when the first of the Bombshells title was released digitally. Written by Marguerite Bennett, these comics are a reimagining of World War II events and history involving many of the most popular DC female characters. And these stories, at their core, are very feminist, even female first, you could say, as these heroines are not a uh, sort of shadow of their male counterparts. They are unique, multi-dimensional, self-directed people. Needless to say, these comics have found great success among female readers. These comics, and the bombshell line itself, also use elements that were somewhat unique to the time period this line is roughly based in. Um, propaganda posters, war stories, film noir, uh, radio adventures. Um, there's a lot that these creators are pulling from to make the bombshell line something unique. And let's not forget that it's in the bombshell run that Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy become a confirmed couple. So I'd love to take a moment and thank all of the wonderful cosplayers who submitted images for me to use in this video, and to highlight a few of them. There's Curves and Freckles Cosplay, who does both a Catwoman and a Black Canary. There's Miss E. Laney Arts, whose katana blows my mind. Miss Morgan, with both a Hawk Girl and a Bat Girl. Rapso Costumes with an amazing Batgirl and Batwoman, Rusty Bayonet with a killer Wonder Woman, and an incredibly talented Bombshells cosplay group based in Tampa. Rainbow Redwood has a Wonder Woman and a Batwoman. Ashley of Mocha Latte Cosplay, and two amazing women from my local cosplay community, Holly Rebell, who is a nationally recognized burlesque performer and cosplayer, and Elena Schlachter, who is just an amazing person and gives so much of her wonderful energy to local charity events and causes. And that's it for this episode of This Day in Cosplay History. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.